Yo, what is up you guys, Raw here, and in this video we're going to be using Skull Knight and Vlad Dracula to try to take on Here Be Monsters S by themselves. We have magic towers, all magic towers, full garrison, uh, 7 purple and 5 green and blue garrison. And like I said, we're going to be using only Skull Knight and Vlad Dracula. Both of these heroes are double evolved. Uh, level 180 10 stars actually skull knight is level 200 i lied uh, now skull knight's main talent is eight of eight deadly strike as you saw a second ago he's going to be rocking berserk crest just to get his uh his sword swinging a little faster and giving his deadly strike a uh, chance to proc more and then for the artifact for skull knight i chose goblet of, goblet of life just to give him some heals and uh, on Vlad, we went ahead and put Vlad in Blitz to get his attack speed up a little bit. And uh, as far as Crest go, we put four Life Drain Crests on Vlad. So that's pretty much the setup. And uh, I did try to solo Here Be Monsters S with Vlad and then solo it with Skull Knight. Didn't work on either, so I was like, you know what, let's throw it in here and uh, see if we could beat it with just those two. Now S, for some people, S seems really weak. For some people, it seems really strong. Now, keep in mind, S is only one Kirby Monsters below HBMT. And I have a 212, uh, 202 Might account here, and I have not even beaten Kirby Monsters AA. So, S is strong. It has a big molt. It has a couple bosses. But uh, we'll see what we can do. We're on S1 right now, and as you guys can see, I have both the heroes placed in the middle of my Kirby uh, Monsters base here. And they went to town on S1. Uh, the, the heroes, the enemy heroes in S1 are not anything special. As you can see, there's a Thunder God, there's some Pumpkin Dukes, stuff like that. There is uh, Atlanta Cores that you have to worry about. That's my phone going off, sorry about that, guys. And then uh, at the end, there's a big molt on uh, S5, and then S4, I believe, has a Minotaur Chieftain boss. So as soon as this Paladin gets his little ass moving so he can get wrecked real quick probably by skull knight then we're gonna move on to s2 and see what s2 can do probably not much because my heroes are beastly so there you go s1 is in the bag i hate when it does that little screen uh glitch right there if you hold it down when the waves come it does it too i personally cannot stand that so, alright, S2, we have some dragons, Cupid, Ares, Pumpkin Duke, Atlanticor, you know, just the basic heroes. So, Sk Skull Knight's gonna jump out there, start wrecking everything coming in. He's pretty much one-shotting shit, and that's, I mean, Skull Knight is, is a beast when it comes to these kind of enemies. They're still level 203, though, but as you can see, they, they're not evolved at all. So, uh, I don't think they're ever evolved, to be honest with you, I just realized that. Alright, so we got Triton. The fuck is a Triton slithering his little fishy ass over there? Got wrecked. Uh, we, Skull Knight jumped out of the base and took care of that. Last hero on the bottom right there. And then Vlad is going to go. He's going he's gonna to waste a proc. Oh well. He wasted a proc, but it got that wave over a lot quicker. Alright, so S2 is down. We are moving on to S3. And let's see what kind of spawn we get on S3. After a little bit of lag. Alright, now S3 is the first wave with a Maltanica. So they both popped down, uh, you know, on top of my base there. Way better than behind it. I'm kind of scared to see what would happen if they popped right behind. So Skull Knight and Vlad are both going out, take, take, taking care. Alright, and the rest is kind of just a cleanup. We have a bunch of copters coming in the top of the base. Hopefully they don't destroy too many towers. There's a Vlad proc to take care of them. Skull Knight's going to jump out of the base and just start going to town. He is absolutely nuts when he uh, has a uh, Blitz or, or uh, Berserk Crest, especially with that 8 of 8 Deadly Strike. That is just really overpowered. It's pretty sick. Sick. I'm sorry. It's pretty sick. I was going to say sad and sick at the same time. It came out fucking sick. All right. So Atlanta Core is stunned down there. We're going to just wait for him to come in. <coughs> and then... Uh, see him get one shot wow 1,500,000 damage on that uh atlanta core there from skull knight all right s3 is down s4 here we come we have a minotaur boss in this round uh, or in this wave i'm pretty sure where the fuck is it where is it all right there's spirit mage there it is there's the boss 
So we have Spirit Mage, Cupid, Maltanica, and Reaper coming in the top of the base. We're going to try to... Uh, we're going to hopefully get those guys down quick as possible. We don't need Spirit Mage jacking us up or anything like that. As you can see down here, Skull Knight's on that dino. Get that dino down, man. Skull Knight. There we go, baby. Then we got uh, Ares proc from our totem, which was pretty clutch. Uh, we got to get this Reaper down up top. There we go. All right, now all we have left is the level 209. Minotaur boss, and let's see if Skull Knight can't take care of this bad boy. Holy shit! Did you see that damn? That was 5 million damage from one swing on that boss. Holy shit! Oh, and the molt's gonna pop! Big Mama Molt! Oh, Vlad Proc! Come on, baby! Blood, Vlad Proc! Ah! Vlad! Ah! Shit! Wow, that was pretty easy. Holy crap, that was insanely easy from Vlad. That Vlad proc came just in time, took everything out. Skull Knight was tanking it, it looked like, for a minute there. And there's S5. I didn't even have enough time to get ready for S5 after S4. I did not expect that big uh, Mama Molt to pop right on my base like that. Alright guys, so there you go. Skull Knight Vlad versus HBM S by themselves. It's a win, baby! Thanks always for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and stay raw!